https reads reddit.com slash pro revenge parking spot causes divorce by user char gamer yt okay so this isn't a story about me this is about my neighbor this is exactly how he told me this story and I witnessed portions of it for myself. Backstory. My neighbor, who we will call David not real name, and my other neighbor, who we will call Karen not real name, often got into arguments about who owns what part of the property. They live right next to each other so this is understandable. Karen was known for being a Karen so this explains a lot. Karen had just got engaged with her boyfriend who we will call Kyle not real name, who went over to her house a lot, like every other day and would spend the night there we saw his car parked there a lot. Kyle would park his car in front of David's lawn because Karen is part of a large family so they have many cars, therefore there is not room in the driveway. David got a new camper recently, one of those massive ones that are practically buses. They needed a place to park it because they didn't feel comfortable leaving it in a public place but Kyle's car was there. Around this same time news was spreading around my neighborhood that Kyle and Karen had gotten married. Kyle moved in with Karen and started using the front of David's lawn as his assigned parking spot. He was told that it was part of her property because Karen was a dummy dumb and didn't understand that property lines exist. There was an incident in the past with a bench and another with a few trees. Eventually David got tired of Kyle parking where they wanted to park their camper he had been having to park it down the road in the public camper places or whatever they are called. He began plotting his revenge. His plan was to park the camper in front of Kyle's car so that he would have to pull out backwards. This way he would have to struggle to get his car out between one of Karen's siblings cars and the camper. When this plan happened, Kyle came running up to David's door and began shouting the usual I'm calling the cops and whatnot. When David didn't answer he tried to inch his way out. He ended up bumping into the car behind him and putting a good sized dent in it. He instantly ran up to Karen's sibling and began apologizing and blamed it on David. Now Karen's entire family was mad at David. David said he saw this through the window and was laughing hysterically. Karen actually managed to think logically for once and blamed it on Kyle but it was okay and insurance will cover it or something like that. Kyle began going off on Karen about how insurance would charge him for the damage. So they ended up fighting about insurance or whatever. This whole thing unraveled outside David's house so he listened in through the open window. They then came up to his house. David answered the door and all of them but Karen instantly started going off about how he caused a dent in Karen's sibling's car. He said that Kyle's car was parked on his property and that he needed to park his camper somewhere. He dug out the property line drawing or whatever and showed them all. Karen was pissed. Karen said that he had drawn those lines himself and that the actual lines were farther to the left giving her more property and expanding past where Kyle was parked. Keep in mind, Kyle was parked by the windows of David's house, clearly on David's property. At this point I could hear yelling from a few houses down and walked over to listen for that sweet sweet internet karma. Karen ended up calling the cops because David was disturbing the entire neighborhood. Two cops showed up in a car and instantly sided with David after reviewing the property lines. Karen was fined over 700 for misusing 911. Kyle ended up having to pay 900 for the damages done to the other car apparently he broke part of the engine or something. That's not all. Karen and Kyle ended up divorcing because Karen lied to him and said he was on her property, and Karen saying that it was her house so she could lie if she wanted and other things of the sort. DLDR, bickering over a parking spot made entitled married couple pay over 1,500 in fines and damages. The couple also divorced over this and a few other things with property issues. Edit, I live on a private road on a small lake. I see why all in the comments saying David ain't on the road but he does to a certain extent. Also I think it was the radiator or the gearbox that was damaged when Kyle apparently slammed the gas in reverse out of rage lol. Any reddit youtubers out there? If so I am saying hi to youtube smiley face, specifically r slash smiley face.